Hello everyone, I am Renderisa and this is a quick look of Gozu. Uh, it's the latest update, uh, version 1.0.1, .1, which includes a new tool, which is Set Scene. And let me show you very quickly what this does. It basically allows you to control the scene tabs, not by the traditional method, which was to click it on the tabs, but this new uh, way of doing things is actually clicking a component. So you assign a scene to a component and if you hover over that component and click it, it will activate that scene. So this means you can create uh, some cool navigational, uh, I guess, menu systems. Uh, but it also has a lot of more to it. Uh, let me show you. Uh, first, let me show you how to set uh, this up. Um, if you look on the dialog, you will see this set scene. And if you click it and go to uh, any component and you click it, it will tell you to enter the scene name. Uh, let's test, uh, let's put one. And you will notice on the tab that it created a new scene with that uh, name. And it also uh, named that component with the same name as the scene. So let's keep uh, going. Let's say we want like this view and assign a, a, a scene to that component and so on. We create another one, three, and then this view maybe create another one, four. So if we switch back to Gosu, it should be uh, easy enough to click that component again and it remembered the settings for that scene. So that's how you add scenes uh, it's relative easy. And uh, so yeah, uh, as before it can also set URL so if you change it to the set URL and you click any component you can uh, set an URL for that. Let's test google.com and when you switch back you can go to that URL that you specify. Now, let's say you have a video. Uh, I just linked a, a video on this component, a YouTube video. So when I click it, that directs me to that website. And this is really good idea. Also, uh, a picture. Let's say you have a picture online and you want to set that so that when a user clicks that component, it, it translated uh, it redirects them to that picture. Now let's talk a little bit more for the scene. Uh, this uh, means if I click uh, this uh, component that I previously set a scene for it, it's called daytime. So if I click it, of course it stays the same. But if I click day, uh, night style, you see the scene will change. And if I click daytime, also, if I click this one that says hide, I modify a scene so that it hides all components and show, it will bring everything back. So you can do cool little stuff like that. And beyond uh, URLs, uh, you can also uh, active files. So for example, if I go to uh, the name of this component, you will see that the direction is not a website. It's actually a, a, a directory of your of a file in your system. So it's also a good idea that you, not only you can access websites, but you can access uh, files inside of your computer, or you can active uh, software. Uh, you can open other SketchUp uh, models. So it's a cool idea. Let me show you how it how it functions. So that if I click this component that says video, it will open actually a media player for that. Also if I uh, click on, on picture, it will open uh, the program. So basically I hope I covered a couple ideas that you can use uh, with this plugin, but it's also nice to see people come up with new ways of doing stuff with uh, the plugin that you didn't previously thought of, and that will be exciting to see. And if you have any more suggestions for me to add to this plugin, please leave it below. And uh, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.